So as gardeners, we all love herbaceous borders. But today I want to run by you a slightly different approach that I think would really benefit so much wildlife throughout the UK. Now at the moment I'm crouched in a wildflower meadow that I created 10 years ago and it was just a potato field and as you can see by some of the amazing colours around me it's absolutely just looking stunning at the moment but one thing I would like to run by you today is how you could really help wildlife in your own back garden by recreating and, and using some of these plants that are in this meadow behind me in a herbaceous border. Might sound like a bit of an alien concept but forget your begonias and your double headed roses in this video I want to just show you exactly how you can use some of these plants in a border and really help the wildlife. Now if we look to my right I've got things such as just within a square meter we've got ladies bed straw, this gorgeous yellow flower at the moment which is actually the, uh, the larval food plant of our hummingbird hawk moth which is a, a wonderful insect, day flying moth if you've ever seen it. We've got things such as field scabies which isn't dissimilar from the scabies that we buy in our garden centres but what's wrong with the native one? I mean it's absolutely stunning at the moment and these ones are just coming out. You've got marjoram or oregano which of course most of us will put in a raised bed for planting but actually the flowers of which as you can see by this big block behind me are absolutely covered in meadow brown small skippers and I've even had a marble white nectarine on them a moment ago. Uh, that twinned with some uh, hedge bed straw which you can see is looking stunning, uh, some oxide daisies uh, and there's, there's tons of other things in here that would be really great in a garden setting. So where you are thinking of putting a herbaceous border, try to think native, try to think about the wildflowers that we have in our countryside that equally look just as stunning in my eyes uh, in a garden setting. So hope that's given you a bit of an idea and something to go off.